So hello everyone. Now let's talk about the case statement. Uh, so case statement uh, will look like this. This is how it look like. So I'm saying case when this this condition. If it's a true, then return this. Else return this. And then I will end my case statement. As you can see here in my example x, I am asking if x equal to x one this case it is not then what happened it will go to no match so this, this is why it's returning no match uh, moving forward uh, here another example uh, I'm saying if x uh, th uh, equal to x1 then return match this case this one will not happen to return false so uh, here I'm using when again I'm saying when y equal to y then return match on y else if those two if, um, if both of those is false then it will go to else by default so let me go ahead and run this one then the result will be as you can see it's match on y because this one is true so it's return uh, the, this result now what if I have this one as in true this one as in true let me run this one for you the result will be the first one only so basically it will the engine will start comparing the first condition whenever it met it will exit and it will ignore anything else in this case uh, it ignore the second one and then the else because the first one match and this is the result so much is so important so, and I, so I will give this one as uh, a star so and let me show you another way of writing the case statement so as you can see I'm saying case when x equal a uh, case when on the condition then return here I'm saying case and a value and I'm saying when when else and uh, and so it's kind of different instead of saying case when I'm saying case my value and then I'm giving when so this is another way of writing the case statement let me run it for you and then it's the exact same result because I'm comparing I'm sorry I am comparing the y here with this well this one was true will not be true and then I'm comparing the y with the y1 here y1 with y1 now it's a true then so it's returned this value so this is the case statement so important I would put some time and read this carefully because we are using this one uh, a lot another uh, function in Oracle which is the conversion function uh, here uh, they let's start with the first one to number and as you can see here I am passing if you think about it I am passing this sign so sometimes we need to uh, make sure uh, we are passing a number uh, not uh, with the with this sign so what I'm doing here I'm saying convert uh, using the two number function this value and this is the format I would like it to be so this is how it look like as you can see this one removed and this one now is a number and I can use it uh, in, in my queries now another one it's to uh, char let me go ahead and run this one so I am using a system, I'm converting system day to uh, another uh, way of presenting it. So I am asking for a day. Here is a Monday, and then the letter D, and then as you can see here, it's a it's a comma first, and then the and then the DD will represent the 19 here of the month. If it's spelled out like this, it will be October. And then RR will be the 2015 here. And then if you're gonna do uh, also year spelled out, it will be 2015. So watch for two color. I will give this one a, a star because we are using this one a lot. And I will Google it. I'll go through the Oracle website and see uh, what other way we can use the two chart different ways probably you need to present your data in different way so uh, I'll go and see how we can use to child with the date how we can convert it and uh, another way another one I'm sorry uh, which is the do two days so as you can see here I have 
as the drink for the date so what I'm using here I'm doing the two dates so in this case instead of uh, this one as a string now it's converted to this format uh, as a um, now it's a day month year so basically I'm saying uh, convert this uh, to two date this is ready to two date and then I'm giving uh, giving it the format I would like it to be I would also to go online and uh, double check the two date uh, here let me show you something how we can use to date with this string with the round we talked about round before so it's a combination of to date and round so I'm combining two function here so basically this string I'm converting this one to to date and then I'm doing the round on of the month and because it is a January now the round is converted to February uh, so I'm combining I did this, this example just to show you how you can combine between those two another one is to timestamp um, also what you can do you can convert the string to a timestamp and this is the result and this is the uh, so this is how it's look like uh, so uh, there is uh, so many also other function online if you would like to go and research those but I think those are the uh, most important one I used a lot before so I would be, would be I would be focusing on those understand them and then moving forward from those if you need um, some other function uh, for your work thank you so much for watching this video